Hi, I'm Mike Fine, and in this video I'm going to show you how to work with rhythmic loops in GarageBand on the iPad, and I'm also going to show you how to delete tracks in this video. In the upper right corner I'm going to tap the loop menu, that's the little loop icon there, and I'm going to make sure it's set to Apple Loops. Now you'll notice under there it says Get More Apple Loops. This is a new feature in the latest version of GarageBand, uh, and I'm going to tap there. So if you want to download any new loop content, there's the sound library area. And some of these uh, areas, you can download some more loop content, more instruments, things like that. So for now, I'm just going to skip that and hit Done. So you can go there to get more loop material. I'm going to tap that X, make sure that's cleared out. All right, so right now, you can search the Apple Loops for a specific uh, instrument name or a uh, any sort of descriptor, but I'm going to hit cancel and I'm going to tap where it says instruments. I tend to like to sort these by, uh, you know, the instrument I'm looking for. And I'm going to tap where it says percussion. So that's, this is the third row, second column. And now I'm seeing all of the percussion loops that are available to me in GarageBand. If I tap a loop, it will begin playing. And if I tap it again, it stops. If I really like the loop, I can tap the favorite icon there. And the reason that's helpful is that if I was to clear this out and tap favorites in the future, now I'll see the uh, loops that I've identified as favorites and I can narrow my choice or choices quickly. Let me clear that off again, go back to my percussion loops. All right, but better than just playing the loop is to play it along with your other material. So I'm gonna play my file and then evaluate if I like the way the loop sounds. And I could audition other loops. All right, and I'm liking that loop. I'm going to go back into that one. And I could have drugged this in while it was playing, but so you could hear my voice more clearly, I'm just going to tap and drag. Sometimes you'll bring it in and it'll say you can't bring it to this track because this is an audio loop where you're trying to bring it onto a green software instrument track. So generally just drag it to the bottom of your tracks view. All right, and now by default, it extends that loop the entire length of the section. Bring that a little smaller so you can see that and let's hear how it sounds. Okay, so that's sounding good. If I didn't want it to loop for the entire section, I could tap it once, and on the right-hand side, I can unloop this. All right, so let's say I only wanted it to happen uh, in measure one and two, and then also five and six. I now also ha can double tap and bring up all the other typical editing things that you get in the tracks window, like copy, move my play it over here, tap, tap, and paste. And so that'll give me a little bit more texture. Now, if I decided at this point I actually didn't want that maracas track in there and I just wanted to get rid of not just the regions but the entire track, I tap the track so it becomes gray. Right now it is. I'll just tap another track now. But let's go back down here. I'll tap it so it turns gray, and then I'll tap it again to bring up the menu. Now, if you tap it too quick, like if I go tap, tap, it opens the instrument uh, window. I have to go back to tracks view. So it's a tap and tap again slowly and now here I can hit delete and that'll remove that track. 